all of us saw the wonderful dis- wonderful world of Disney um, in the movie Mulan. Now, if you haven't seen Mulan, it's understandable. Um, it's only available on Disney Plus right now. And you have to pay 30 bucks to see it. Now, once you pay the $30, you then get to keep said movie and watch it whenever on Disney Plus, as long as you have as Disney Plus. As long as you Plus. have Disney Plus, yeah. Uh, but but it is uh, it is there. Um, so that's that's what we've got going on with a little Mulan action. Um, uh, Brian, you did not see this with your children, I'm assuming, correct? No, nope. I made I, that I decision to not. Yep. Yeah, no. Um, Brian... No, you know what, Brian? I'm going to hold off. I'm going to let you talk about the other one. Um, so I'm going to discuss Mulan here because it's my turn. Do it. Uh, you don't do get it, to Jared. talk nearly enough in these shows, so you might as well go ahead. I, that was my thought process. I mean, it's my show and I hardly say a word. Um, so <laughs> that's hilarious. Um, so Mulan. Uh, Mulan is the story of the exact same story that we all know and love from the Disney um, animated sh- movie Mulan. Um, Eddie Murphy reprises his role as Mushu. Oh wait, no, 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 that's not how this worked. Hold on, no Mushu. No Which movie. Did you see Jared? <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Um. So Mulan is is the story of a young oh, woman Mulan Rouge, right? Oh, know. that's the wrong that's one. It's a very different movie. I wondered why you and McGregor was a in good movie. movie. Um so Mulan is the story of a young a young woman in China um during I don't remember what dynasty it was. It would have been the well, it doesn't say. Uh I don't know what dynasty it was. But um she there's a war coming um and what's interesting is that in the Disney movie, the cartoon, it was against the Huns. Um, in this one, it was not against the Huns. It was against a group called R- Raiden, Roden, uh, Roran, Roran, R O U R A N, Roran. The writers of Rohan. Rohan, yeah, it was the writers of Rohan. Um, and uh, this actually makes it a little bit more accurate. Um, versus when the Huns were like, this is the same time frame. This group of people was a group that was attacking China, like they were at, at odds with China. Um, and so there's this war going on, and so they they call the men uh, to come fight in the war, and each family has to send a man to fight in the war. Um, unfortunately for Mulan, her her dad is the only male in the family uh, because he had two daughters, and he has a lame leg, and so he but he honorably takes his scroll and he moves and he says, I'm going to do it. I'm going to fight because it's my, it's my job. Um, well, Mulan being the persnickety, um, daughter that she is and, uh, doing what she wants and, and doing what she feels is right. Um, steals his armor, puts her hair up in a bun, which apparently is enough to make it work. And they think she's a boy. And so she goes and fights in her dad's place. Um, and she goes and trains with the army and and goes through. Speaking of accuracy, I, I also heard that the the not chopping off her hair and putting it in a bun thing is more accurate also because a lot of the men of the time also did that. And actually, if you look at like Donnie Yen's character, uh, when he doesn't have his helmet on, he has a similar top knot mm-hmm. you know thing mm-hmm. on his hair too so well as far as she accuracy the, goes i mean it's she had the top knot in the cartoon as well but she cut her hair to make it shorter yeah. and then put it in the top yeah. knot. Um, whereas in this one she didn't cut her hair and put it in the top knot. she did not um did not so this mulan version versus the other one some major differences in it one of them is the fact that there is no music um, from a from a singing standpoint. There are no songs that that the characters sing together or whatever. Um, Donny Osmond does not reprise his role as the singing voice. So of Donnie disappointing. Uh, I was I was disappointed. Um, and uh, and so there's no singing in it. Um, unfortunately, Mushu does not make an appearance. The dragon that Eddie Murphy mm-hmm. played does not make an appearance. Um then instead they have a phoenix that flies through and you see the phoenix um every now and then um which is is supposed to be that role of the ancestors protecting Mulan and helping Mulan so you do see the phoenix flying through um the other aspect that uh, that we that we see is 
Um, I couldn't find it anywhere to prove it. But if this isn't, if the choreography is not done by whoever did flying, um, crouching, crouching tiger. tiger, hidden dragon, then they missed, then, then they definitely did what they could to, to mimic that. I, um, I, I, I would highly doubt it because it's not as good. <laughs> That's the choreography of well, it's it's not player. as much, but it's, like there's not as much. It's of like it. a wushu, like f- they do floaty style. jumps and yeah, right. The floaty st- stuff they call and they actually have a name for it. They talk about using chi and they talk about how they're able to yeah. use their chi. And That's so a big they make thing. it as part of as mm-hmm. part of the whole thing versus just being like, oh look, that's normal fighting. It's like no, they're using their chi to create this different fighting style. Um, so I thought that was interesting uh, from that standpoint. Um. Overall, I enjoyed this movie. Um, I, I'm, I will say I was probably a little disappointed in it. Um, I, there, I just wish it had given a little bit more. I don't know how I don't know if that makes sense. It probably doesn't. But I, I just felt like there was there was something slightly missing from this movie. Um, and I couldn't I don't know if I could tell you what it was. Um, I enjoyed it. But it, it, it there was something there was something that I, I wish they had done differently. Um, with it like i said i can't tell you what that is because i don't know it's just this thing this feeling of me um i found it entertaining uh i enjoyed the acting in it um i thought the girl who played mulan was was awesome um i enjoyed her quite a bit um uh she had some sass in it and it worked um but i I, it wasn't i don't know that's all i got i i have nothing else to say about the movie it was it was good uh, that's what it was. I enjoyed it, uh, but it, but there was nothing really spectacular about it in my book. Um, nothing that really stood out as being, oh, that was that scene was it. That was awesome scene. Um, it was just it was a good movie overall. Um, I, I just that's it. That's all I've got. I I don't know. Jason, can you help me? I can. I think mm-hmm. flush okay. things out. Plus, um, yeah. So Mulan. Uh, the 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 redux of the uh, 1998 animated film that was very much loved. We already did it. all this. <laughs> I'm I'm getting there. <laughs> my my problem with this film that I will say I I did pretty much enjoy. Um, my problem is it was not at all what I was expecting. You know, from their marketing materials, I expected more of a serious movie more of a grounded realistic you know like a more of a story of of just like a soldier that you know she takes the place of her father goes on whatever and then they you know they had this you know the chi stuff and the the kind of sense of magic and oh you mean like you know ground grounded in real life kind of i was yeah i was expecting more of like a you know not not necessarily like a war movie because this is disney you know but i expected more of a realistic kind of setting with just you know she's a a daughter of a, a a man who takes his place, goes off, fights the army, you know, however they play that out, they play it out. But, you know, instead they, they kind of, you know, they don't go the full way where like, there's no Mushu, which was a character people really enjoyed. And I think had they, you know, kept that in and, and kind of just gone like live action version of it, I think people would have liked this and responded to it a lot better than it seems they have. Uh, I feel like they kind of went like halfway with stuff. They they were doing this sort of realistic, you know, setting. And, you know, it's it's a beautifully uh, shot movie. The the scenery and the settings are that. gorgeous. You know, the from the, the town where she starts and lives in the little commune to the the epic, you know, city and, you know, the all the areas in between. It's a gorgeous looking movie. Um, and the costume design is very good. You know, the way characters look is, is exceptional. Um, but just something really seemed off to me that, you know, like they, they strayed away from the original movie and, and kind of went a different route. And I don't think it necessarily played off as well as they hoped it would. I think people kind of responded negatively to, to some of that. Um, again, like, I didn't think this was a bad movie. Like I did enjoy it. But it's just it was very much not what I was what I had anticipated it to be. I was expecting a, a lot, you know, different than than what I got. And, you know, the the fighting and the the kind of crouching tiger, hidden dragon style, you know, I don't think a lot of people like that 
you know, I think that's certainly a, a fighting style or like a movie style that people either love or hate. You know, you either like the kind of, you know, John Wick in your face action. You know, if I punch you, it looks like I punched you. And and this is more, you know, like that floaty, you know, fighting kind of over the top uh, choreography. And not everybody's into that. You know, I think some people respond very negatively to that. They just seem like it's it's hokey. And when you see like a, a big budget Disney kind of thing, like they're not that's maybe not what they were expecting. And I don't think. Uh, from from what I remember of the trailers, I don't remember seeing much of that in them. She runs on the walls in the trailers like, and like maybe some of it over people. I, I yeah, think that so. that might be part of what you're saying, Jason. I I, th- I think a lot of it I is don't think people expected it. They they I played this they as did. I th- think they played this as being a realistic version of the movie. Uh, of the cartoon you know there's no music there's no mushu it's it's a movie it's a historical movie like that was that was the play i got on it um yeah. and it it definitely i think it maybe it lost its appeal because of those different things that, that and that, i think uh, to me sense. like what there's a lot of scenes especially in the very beginning where they're kind of like building up the character of mulan as this kind of uh some rough cgi like in she's she's a tomboy you know, yeah. and I, even taking away CGI or whatever, just some of the just the themes of like, you know, she's kind of a screw up and she's, you know, not quite what, you know, her mother wants her to be. You know, the traditional, you know, expectations of roles of a woman and, you know, you're to get married and that's your role. And, you know, obviously she's a more of a free spirit. She's more athletic. She's, you know, more tomboyish. And that's frowned upon in their culture. And, and some of the ways they went around doing that you know, it was very over the top and I wasn't expecting something like that. I, like I said, I was expecting a more, you know, realistic, you know, grounded kind of story. And it was very much, you know, over the top in some ways. Um, so yeah, that's that to me, just kind of, maybe it's just my initial expectations and going into it that that makes me feel the way I do, but you know, it's definitely gotten mixed reviews from a lot of people. I think a lot of, uh, users, not users, but like, um, you know, like uh, we viewers. Tron or what are <laughs> well, I'm thinking, you user. know, because like, I'm thinking of like Rotten Tomatoes and yeah. the reaction that's on there, like the user, you know, score or whatever, you know, the the non critic scores uh, have been pretty rough on it. And um, and I know there's some other controversy that exists outside of the film, which I don't want to get into here. That's not our place. Um, that's not what we're here to. Yeah, I was just gonna. I, I wasn't gonna go into detail, but yeah, I know but that like but there uh, is some outside. Tim Yu Liu, who is playing Shang uh, Shang Li in the Marvel, he made some comments on Twitter in regards to yeah. the movie. Yeah, um, but it was interesting. Yeah. Uh, Brian, what were your thoughts, man? I mean, I'm mostly in line with you guys. I think uh, while I did enjoy the movie, um, I wouldn't say that necessarily like it was entertaining from the the standpoint of I had a good time watching it but i think as far as like whether it's a good movie i don't know that i would go all the way there um i think it has a a like an a little bit of an identity crisis i think like what jason was saying while it did not while it matched up with my expectations because i knew going in and maybe this maybe you guys didn't know this or didn't put as much stock into this or whatever but that it was a, a retelling of the legend of mulan not necessarily like a uh historical like sure purely accurate so when i think sure. legend i think they're going to incorporate chinese culture and chinese legend yeah, into see, it. i didn't think that. that's a great like point that. i yeah. i didn't think that even though i knew it was a legend i didn't think about the whole yeah and that's why you can't even really nail down like the official time period for this because it's like a, a legend Undefined. Whatever, right yeah. um so the 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 f- f- style of fighting and the crouching tiger stuff was it made made sense to me from that standpoint um, I just don't know that they pulled it off all the way uh, as well as they could. I wish they did more of it practically. Like Jared is saying, there's a lot of g- sort of goofy CG in here. Uh, if she does a flip and she kicks a spear at, back at a guy, I want to actually see that occur in camera as opposed to sort of stretching the character and making it look weird with c- CGI to do. Um, if Crouching Tiger can do it with wire work and jumping through trees and having really awesome choreography, I feel like this movie could too. Um, and I think maybe what hinders this is because it's a Disney production. Disney's not going to go full like mm-hmm. Eastern style movie. They're they're going to have a mix of Western and and Eastern styles. And I think 
well, to take nothing away from Nikki Caro, the director, uh, as far as I know, just to make sure that I don't think she's an Eastern director. Yeah, no, she is. Well, New Zealand, I guess, is in the East, she's but New Zealand, not yeah. uh, she's not a Chinese director like you would have for a movie like Crouching Tiger or one of my favorite movies of the similar genre, um, Hero with Jet Li. If mm-hmm. they would have done something. Who's also in this movie. Who's also in this movie as the emperor. Yeah. Um pretty unrecognizable actually my dad didn't know that he was in this movie until after and i told him he didn't look like it at first um but uh yeah and and chad is saying that the mulan trailers had a similar gloss that the hobbit had and i think that's due to the the effects and they're not they're not capturing these things in camera um the certain things that they're doing um so if they if they could have if disney would allow this to work and make just like a full-on chinese epic i think it would have turned out a lot better and you have like these these awesome battle scenes and stuff like that that have been great i think the battle scenes while entertaining in this were a little underwhelming to me i would i would and the fight scenes while entertaining for for this were a little underwhelming to me i think that comes down more to the execution and the just what the production is trying to go after and i think they weren't they weren't fully committed to go to we're making an eastern style asian movie um they 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 went halfway they got an entire tri- entirely asian cast um and they have those influences there but it, they just didn't go all the way and i think that's like the it, if disney's the if disney's who owns the rights to the i mean it, it's got to be like it has to be public domain it, it, story or whatever think. but um they're the only ones making mulan movies i guess for the western audiences so um i that's where i think it's a missed opportunity while i still enjoyed it um, I don't think you can compare it. You can't really s- compare it to the animation because it's not the same movie. Um, mm-hmm. So I can't really say, I mean, while I can say I like the animated movie more, I wouldn't, you know, put them on the same level as far as comparison's sake. But I don't know, miss, missed opportunity. I was super hyped for this one. I just wish they would have went, you know, both yeah. feet all in to what they were trying to do as opposed to, you know, towing the line, you know, yeah. Both, both ways to me this is um it's kind of a big disappointment because as we've talked a lot the live action disney movies have all been you know with a few exceptions they've been pretty not great i still you know, think they, it was one of the better ones i it's, i would I've put it better one of the better ones i think it's better than aladdin that. personally for but, me um yeah yeah i never I even agree. bothered seeing beauty and the beast so but, i'm just um, gonna put it but to me i had <laughs> i had really high hopes for this and it's like i don't I don't have high hopes for any others that they might do, you know, and like this was the don't. one, the one that was going to be different. I felt like, you know what? It's not a the, shot for shot remake. Up, yeah. It felt like, wow, this could be like a really good, you know, if they did a grounded serious, you know, just, yeah. just, just take that basic story and, and put it on screen. And instead they, they tried to, you know, Disney it up. And I think it, it fails in that execution. And there was just, there was some, uh, just from a storytelling and script perspective, some weird like inconsistent and just some strange decisions that that they made in here that just kind of blow my mind like in the in the animated mulan there is a avalanche there's a scene with an avalanche that gets caused the snow in it and yeah. they, and in this one it it felt so contrived the way that they accomplished a similar part of this i'm like it just took me out of the movie with with how it, it you could have yeah, done it any cool. million number of yeah. ways to have another avalanche in this movie in the way that they chose in this movie well they made of... they made the enemy really stupid yes like they made them really stupid <laughs> is, is how they accomplished it and and they weren't stupid they weren't but just they, but they with that one scene stupid. they were yeah 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 or um, incompetent yeah yeah incompetent. yeah uh well there you have it mulan mm- I wait till thought, wait till it's wait free. Till December. <laughs> yeah. Wait till December when not, it's free. not worth the thirty dollars to just, to yeah. just on wait it. till December when it's free and it's, then watch it and enjoy it. It's still like, a, I was still had fun watching movie, it. Yeah, but. but like it's not it's not worth spending that thirty dollars to see it right away. You can wait, you know. Yeah, just wait or find just a friend wait. that already spent the money because they can watch it as many times as they want. That's right. 